What makes me very, very nervous about the opening, Kelly Hoppen. She seems frightening. Oh, I mean, there's so, so many things. The first thing is that nobody's gonna show up. <laughs> I kind of suck. <laughs> the second thing is that people are not gonna understand why the hell I've put some furniture in the space. <laughs> but hopefully they will. And of course, thirdly, is that they're not gonna think that the furniture goes with the paintings, vice versa, or that they're just gonna hate the idea of having the space decorated this way. You know, I'm just gonna keep on losing weight at the moment because I can't eat and I'm petrified. And uh, I don't know, there's a lot of fear. All right. <laughs> Done. Now people have been asking about the prints. You can just let them know that these prints are all artist proofs, which means they're one-off. There's no repetition of them. I'm not making it, they're not a series. Um, so they're unique in each and every way and that's, that's it. There's not going to be any more made, so that's why they're at the price that they're at. And as for this one piece over here, just because unfortunately in this space we don't have proper lighting, but that it looks much, has a much more central and deep quality when it has a proper lighting on it. Some of them have, are screwed into the wall, so we couldn't, but some, like that one, you can actually move around. Now, as for the triptych, because we want to try and really sell those, um, they are not as big as they seem. In fact, they're just up to here on me. Um, the mantelpiece makes it seem much more important, so you can tell people once you move it into another place. Even this could be in an entrance hallway over a long, low black table. So that's perfect, and we should probably just have a quick word downstairs of the new pieces that have been added in. The whole table is actually varnished with yacht varnish, quite a few layers, so it should be quite durable. And um, the chairs do not come with the piece. And the table is the other detail. The wood's been stained, so it actually should never chip because it's all within the, the wood and then it was varnished on top. It just adds a nice touch to the whole feeling of the dining room. Yeah. Okay. The whole PR selling bit is part of my character, or is becoming more and more part of my character. I enjoy it. There's no question. It's like being an actress. It's like putting on this different outfit and behaving in a completely different way for a couple of hours, and I really do enjoy it. I get a kick out of it. And it's also being in such a social environment, staying completely sober, you know, watching all these other people getting completely pissed and then t starting to talk about your work. It's hilarious. I mean, come on. It's, it's really, really funny. First of all, thank you everybody for all the support to make this happen. My first solo show. I'm glad that you guys all get to witness it. And I would just like to present Ed Miller and Kelly Hoppen. And Kelly Hoppen has been, as you probably all know from my press release, my big sort of admirer, well, whom I've really admired, of all the interior design work, which has really influenced and sort of pushed me along in mixing these two sort of themes of fine art and the interior. So I'd just like to, um, if you'd like to say a few words. As Kelly's support and, uh, and uh, spouse, and she's not 100% uh, uh, well tonight, so I'm going to be reading her speech for her. And her and her. I mean, when uh, Madeline uh, asked Kelly to open the exhibition, I believe it was after she read her book, uh, East Meets West, and I think probably she found a kindred spirit when she read, throughout the ages, artists have been inspired by the exotic and unusual and have strived in their work to harmonize and balance the different elements that make up the world we live in. For Kelly and for me, both fine art and fine interior design are really defined by harmony. We believe it is the great challenge for artists to bring their materials and inspiration together in new and unexpected ways 
without losing sight of this overriding principle. We've thoroughly enjoyed getting to know Madeline and her work, and this magical blend of cultural and artistic traditions, she's achieved a mysterious quality which we find really intriguing and satisfying at the same time. Thank Congratulations, Madeline. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good. Wonderful collection. There's an amazing self-portrait if you go down the stairs on the left. It's really lovely. I think you're really to be congratulated. We uh, we love it, and uh, I mean, you probably didn't know that I was a dealer in Chinese art. No, I didn't. I'm, I deal. I used to deal in modern Chinese paintings, right. and I, I took it up as a uh, a respite from my investment banking career. Right. About a block from here, uh, when I was showing a great friend of ours a modern Chinese painting that I thought that he'd like, and when I showed it to him, he said, "Oh, I said I he said I hate it. It's horrible." And Kelly was at this dinner party and she said, oh my God, that's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I've got to have a, I've got a client who's got to have that in the home. Right. And she became my biggest client. Wow. So I, it was a real inducement to marry her. A destiny, honor, and honesty, are they in the correct order? I would hope they are, but I, I wanted to make sure. I think honesty should be the middle one. Destiny is the middle one. No, no. The honesty is the right one, probably. But I don't think honor is the. Or maybe. I don't know. Honor in the middle? Do you she's lose very, your honor? You could lose Well, I don't know. She's very provocative. It's absolutely fantastic. I think they're beautiful and really very impressed. Very sensual and lovely colours. I, I talked to you. And I just think they're absolutely fabulous. <laughs> well, my partner believes that they, are, uh, they have a sensuality that attracts her. And the themes also are of interest. And she feels they'd be very suitable in the bedroom. <laughs> Particularly if it reminds, if they remind him of me. <laughs> <laughs> My first impression was about the triptych upstairs. For, for me, that's the masterpiece of uh, Madeleine. That's the best piece of all about the exhibition. That's what I really like. So for me, it's a, it's a little bit of a surprise. I wasn't quite. Uh, I wasn't quite expecting this, and I, I can only say that I'm a very proud father. Uh, I did it. <laughs> Fifteen paintings are gone. <gasps> Thank God. Uh, what a relief. Uh, looks like I better get back in there. <laughs> Where do I see myself in 20 years? I think I'll write a book about being an artist and being a successful artist actually living off of what you're doing. And I guess in a way teaching. I, I enjoy teaching. I've had a lot of teaching jobs. All sorts of things from skiing to bloody cooking. Now I'd like to share it with, with other people, especially young people who are going to be out there going, oh, it should be this way, it should be that way, and, and share, you know, you can do it this way too.